right, so coming in, it's got all sorts of stuff, best deals in the game. Um, we'll just give a quick peek to the saltwater section. Not that I'm gonna get anything, but I always see if they got anything really cool in saltwater. I don't have a lot of salt today, though. Okay, good to know. Thank you. These guys, all these damsels are pretty, though. Little goby. All right, we'll go over to freshwater. And let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, this Fajaca is awesome. <laughs> that, that's very tempting. He would not be going in the community tank, but that's pretty tempting. Haka. All right, so he just bagged up the Fajaka. Um, I missed filming the net. Uh, I was filming something else. Actually, I was filming another video here. I, uh, I got some community stuff. So if you've not seen that video, make sure to go check it out. Um, but I'm super stoked to get the Fajaka, and he's going to go with the archer fish, the mud skipper, and um, there's going to be a few more. I'm going to get some more archers in the long run and probably a couple more mud skippers. And Fajacas can actually go slightly brackish, so that tank's gonna be slightly brackish, so they'll all be good together. All right, so, so we're just now leaving all about pets. We're gonna get the uh, Fajaca in when we get home, so uh, stay tuned, it's gonna be pretty sweet. All right, we made it back home to the fish cave. If you've not seen it, make sure to subscribe. There's some crazy stuff in here. And I've got the Fajaca puffer um, acclimating. I think he's, he's, I mean, he's gorgeous and his blue eyes are awesome or she, I'm not sure yet, but, um, I think just big enough to go with the archer. Um, I still got the, the black spotted eel in here. Who's actually, where are you? Who's hiding? <laughs> um, oh, he's behind the heater, but, um, he'll eventually have to come out when I make this somewhat brackish and I did some research, the Fajaca. They, um, they're typically kept as only freshwater, but actually in the wild, they go into brackish. So he will be just fine in a little bit of brackish. So I'm a, I'll eventually slightly make this brackish for the archer and the mudskipper, and I'll be getting some more, uh, some more mudskippers and archers. But um, yeah, so we're gonna let this guy acclimate for 15. All right, so while the Fajaca is acclimating, I was just gonna update you guys a little bit on what's going on in the fish cave. Everything's pretty much going well recently, but uh, yeah, I'm filming another video, which I think this just turned out amazing. We'll put a link to this video in the description. Got some new fish and plants for that community tank. Um, OJ is still doing great. He's got so much more room in here. Um, then um, Stingray Dexter, still doing terrific. Um, the Bicher, the big endoleakier, um, he's doing awesome. He took forever to eat, but now I got him eating, um, he's eating tilapia, which is great. Arowana, he's doing great. He's so jumpy, but he's doing great. Everyone in here, I told you about this tank. The big Paku's in here. And then the pond has been so much more enjoyable now that it's filled up. Got some plants, hopefully that'll all grow over, make the pond look a lot more natural. I'll definitely be getting some more tropical plants for here um, eventually. Uh, lungfish, African lungfish, Lenny Jr. is doing amazing, getting absolutely massive. And then um, I've added some more photos down here in the fish cave. Um, kind of just, yeah, thank you to everyone who's, you know, supporting and repping the merch. I appreciate it. And obviously the, uh, the fish wall, and I've added to that too. So everything's just, uh, everything just keeps improving down here in the fish cave. And uh, I'll get back to you when we uh, put the Fajaca in. But make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that this crazy in the fish cave. All right. It has been well over 15 minutes, and he is ready to get out of that bag. Let's get him in there. All right. We're going to go ahead and get this guy in. Like I said, he has been acclimating for plenty of long and plenty of time. Um, I'm so excited to get this guy in. They, I, I think I got to look it up. I want to say they're probably the second largest of freshwater puffers the first being the ma the ma mbu the mabu um i think i'm gonna look that up though i know they get pretty big like i think a foot a foot plus which you know a puffer that's like a freaking it's like a football swimming around which is just so cool and i've heard these guys have so much personality so um yeah i'm gonna just dump them through here, let the water go through and pick them up. 
go. There we go. There he goes. Look at him. Straight in. He looks great on the sand, too. That's awesome. Chilling right now. Just got in the water, so it's going to take him a second to get used to it. Um, but he looks awesome on that sand. He's so cool. I'm thinking at that size he'll be fine with the archer. You know, the archer can be aggressive towards crickets and little, little fish he can eat. But I think he knows he can't eat him, so he's looking awesome. I can't wait for him to really start eating and moving around and everything. Look at him, he's already playing through the sand. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so I'm super stoked for this guy to just get huge. And then I've got other tanks that he can always go to. So yeah, we'll, uh, I will catch up to you guys either tonight or tomorrow to see how he is doing. Hopefully he's all settled in and swimming around then. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. All right, so what's up? It's actually been a week later since I got the Fajaka Puffer and he or she is actually doing amazing. Um, just, just a quick thing, you know, after doing a bunch of research too before I got them, um, one thing is, is many people say Fajakas have to be by themselves, which, because they're very aggressive, which I wasn't too sure if that meant I had to. I talked to the guy at the fish store. He said he's seen people keep them with other fish and I have too. So I tried this and he's with a bunch of bigger fish, which I'll show you in a second. And so far he's been doing great and he's been munching too, which we're gonna feed him in a second. But uh, let me get you a closer look at him. So yeah, he's been in here about a week. Um, everything's been going well, but he's in with the archer who's bigger. He's way bigger. Um, and the mud skipper, you know, is in water and land. So everyone's been playing nice together. But uh, yeah, he's, his eyes are so pretty, or hers. <laughs> But uh, I'm going to feed them. It's so funny how uh, they get so fat right after they eat. And then the next morning, they're already skinny. Just a fast metabolism, I guess. All right, let's feed them. All right, so I'm just feeding some cut up to lops. Actually, we'll, we'll get to eat and see if we can get the eel to eat out of my hands first. There we go. The archer will get a piece too. We'll feed them all first. The, oh, the puffer's going in. Archer got it first. Um, actually, I'm actually going to try and hand feed the puffer. Oh, and he is all excited. Uh, this is kind of going to be a big piece, but they're good at ripping it up. Let's see if I can hand feed this guy. Take it. <laughs> Too cool. Already hand feeding. Look at him. He'll just munch on that big piece. Um, another thing about these guys is you have to feed them snails um, at a decent rate. That way their teeth... Ooh. The eel just flew by. That way their teeth um, don't outgrow their mouth and they, then they can't eat. And the snails, which I've actually fed him a couple snails already, the snails just um, make sure that, um, that they keep wearing down their teeth. Um, but he already put down that tilapia. You can see how fat he is now. And uh, he'll, he'll be looking for more too. Let's see if he wants another piece out of my hand. Hard kind of filming by yourself. <laughs> there he goes. Just munching in here. They really do make big messes though. <laughs> really pretty puffer, and I hope he or she continues to get huge in this tank. And then once again, we've got plenty of other places for fish to go. I'll actually feed the mud skipper a piece of two. He'll get to that in a second. He's kind of camera shy. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, I've got we've got so many videos just stacked up. Um, that's why this is a week from when I first started filming. But the fajaca oh, and the mud skipper just ate. Um, the fajaca is doing terrific. It's only been a week, but I was a little concerned knowing that they're kind of aggressive, but. He's doing great in there with what's in there with them. So uh, if you guys enjoyed me buying, I think this is the second or third biggest freshwater puffer fish there is. If you guys enjoyed this, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe for many more uh, Aqua Beast videos to come. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.